so hi everyone we are back with another amazing mcp tutorial that is model context protocol and this time we would be connecting docker to cloud ai that too for free using docker mcp so here you can see that um, before starting i'll be just showing you a small demo how it is working for me and then i'll be showing you how to connect that so as you can see on my docker dot desktop app there is no container right now and then we'll try to create a container using cloud ai so let's get started so if you click on this particular hammer symbol which shows all the mcp tools i hope you are following my previous tutorials on mcp if you are not do check them out also to have a better understanding so as you can see that this is one of the tools provided by docker mcp create container and deploy compose deploy a docker compose tag etc so let's try it out before we jump on to how to do it create a basic python docker container now Claude will show you its magic using MCP. As you can see, if you're running for the first time, you need to provide certain permissions as well. Allow for this chat. As you can see, it is writing basic Python container for you. Now the, now the container is done. Run this container in Docker. Now as you can see that first we are created using file system and now we are jumping on to Docker MCP. So you need to have two tools for this. One is file system because you need to create certain files. Now, if we jump on to here, you can see that the container is created. If you remember, there was no container before that. And now the new container is created. List down all the Docker containers present in this system. So as you can see, it is again using a Docker tool to get me a list of all the Docker containers present. So there are a few Python containers that it has created for me. And as you saw, it was now visible in the docker system as well the docker file system that i just showed you so now as you can see we are able to control docker from cloud ai how to do it it's quite easy so first of all you don't need to do much just first of all get uvx installed in your system that i've already uh, explained in my previous video how to do it so you can check that out for blender mcp once done there are a few things that you need to change in the config.json so you might be knowing the location for config.json in cloud ai if not you need to navigate to file system go to settings go to developer and then go to edit config in edit config you should be able to see cloud desktop config this is the particular json that i'm talking about once you open this you need to add the extension for file system and docker do remember this so as you can see that this is the mcp server for docker and this is the MCP server for file system. File system is also important because you would be creating some local files to run the container. One thing to note is that if you're using Windows, you need to provide path in this way. The path should be full path and it should have double backward slash instead of single backward slash. Uh, this is the code that you would require to provide in command that is uvx.exe. I've already explained this all in my previous tutorials on MCP, so do explore that out. These are the two MCP servers that we are adding. Once you have added this, just close Cloud A from task manager. Do remember to close it from task manager like this and task and then restart. And then you should be able to see the Docker MCP present in your system in Cloud A as you were able to see in the hammer sign in my system. So this is how you can control Docker using Cloud A using MCP. And this is quite amazing because it's such a complicated use case. And now you can control Docker using AI. Thank you so much.